So these days, there are a lot of people out there talking about the use of excessive force by the police. And without courting any controversy, I want to say that the police have a very hard job putting their lives on the line. And the vast majority are good people. On the other hand, black people aren't imagining this stuff. So both sides have good points. And as the host of a late night show, it's my responsibility to take a side. So let me just take a moment here <laughs> to say that I agree with how you feel. <laughs> you know who you are. I feel strongly about that. And those people on the other side, wrong. <laughs> but the point is, what do you do to reduce the possibility of abuse while still maintaining public order? I'm happy to say that some police have begun finding positive ways to de-escalate tensions in their communities. Like one cop in Washington, D.C., who, after responding to a reported street fight, tried to disperse the remaining crowd of teens. When one of the teens marched up and started to nay-nay at the officer, <laughs> the officer didn't bust a perp. She busted a move. That's right. That's right. A police officer ended a tense situation with a dance off. No one was arrested, but somebody did get served. <laughs> this is a great example for all law enforcement. Before resorting to violence, first, just try to twerk things out. <laughs> Although, and this is true, I was surprised to learn the song Watch Me Whip Nay Nay was playing on the girl's iPhone. I mean, when a dancing cop comes to my apartment, they always bring their own boombox. <laughs> dancing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for your service. Now, folks, dancing is great, but not every cop on the beat can move to the beat. So in an effort to use less force, one California police department has come up with a brand new centuries-old law enforcement tool. The Anderson Police Department is swinging in nunchucks as their latest defense tool. Polycarbonate, hard plastic. Sergeant Casey Day says it's a way for officers to restrain a suspect using less force. We can use them um, for joint manipulation, risk control, um, pain compliance, that type of thing. Yes, nunchucks, a crime-fighting tool already proven effective by our nation's ninja turtles. <laughs> As one Anderson police officer demonstrated, nunchucks can be used to restrain a subject by wrist, by elbow, or even by ankle. Yes, by ankle, which is great in case they have to arrest Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> now, Mrs. Robinson, Mrs. Robinson. Now, batons have been used to beat suspects for many years, and nunchucks are really just two batons connected by a little string. So the only new thing here really is the string. So if they want to reduce the chance of police brutality, maybe just give the cops the string. <laughs> Tie them up. Tie their thumbs together. Now, already the police have used the nunchucks to target one minority, unarmed female reporters. But the Anderson, California Police Department insists there won't be any abuse because any officer who wants to use them must pass a 16-hour training program. Wow, 16 hours. <laughs> to put that in perspective, a California massage therapist has to take 500 hours of training. <laughs> and it's 516 hours if you want to massage somebody with nunchucks. <laughs> but here's my real concern. Obviously, giving all police nunchucks at a weekend seminar is a great idea. But there is a small possibility that the police abuse might end up being against themselves because even with proper training, things can get out of hand. Uh, oh, no! You oh, broke your glasses! Oh! Now. When it comes... He's fine. He's fine.
When it comes to nunchuck failures, that's really all you need to see. <laughs> but it was pretty fun, so let's see some more. Please, please don't try any of that at home. <laughs> but if you do, please upload it to YouTube.